Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has released iOS 14.6 to the public, so I thought it'd be a good time to do a quick jailbreak update video. So starting off to cover the basics, do not update to iOS 14.6. Always stay on the lowest possible firmware that you guys can. Downgrade to iOS 14.5.1 if there's still time. Secondly, to ensure that you stay on the lowest version of iOS, you can always pop into the settings app, go down to the general tab, software update, and uh, right here under automatic updates, just ensure that these are disabled and turned off. So the big question I wanted to cover in today's video and the probably number one most asked question I get here on the channel is when the next jailbreak utility is coming out. And so uh, I made this quick graph and I thought this would be interesting to take a look at together here. So uh, it's called Jailbreak Utility Release Date History. Now this is going to cover the last four years of jailbreak releases. Now this is going to cover the last four years of jailbreak releases, specifically the first jailbreak release of every year. So we're gonna cover iOS 11 to iOS 14 and hopefully you guys will see the same pattern that I am seeing here once it's all up. So starting with iOS 11, it was released on September 19th in 2017. Now there was 160 days between when the first jailbreak utility was released on February 26th. And that utility was Electra for iOS 11.1.2. Now again, by first jailbreak release, I mean the very first jailbreak for that year's device. And I believe that was the iPhone 10 that year. So uh, going on later in that year, 130 days later, in fact, we had a second major jailbreak utility release. Again, it was Electra. This time it was updated for iOS 11.3.1. So the first jailbreak was released in February. The second one was not until July. So with iOS 12, again, right around the same time on September 17th, two days earlier in 2018, iOS 12 was released. Uh, 158 days later, so actually right around the same uh, amount of time between when iOS 11 was released and when the first jailbreak utility came out, we had the first jailbreak utility for iOS 12 on February 22nd of 2019. And this was the first jailbreak utility for the iPhone XS running iOS 12.1.2. Now, continuing on later in that year, 177 days later, actually, on August 18th, Uncover came out with another update, this time supporting devices all the way up to iOS 12.4. So iOS 12 had a longer period between the two jailbreaks of that year. So let's take a look at iOS 13. It was again released on September 19th, same as iOS 11. 159 days later, on February 25th, Uncover was released for iOS 13.3, that supported the iPhone 11. So as you can see, there's already a pattern starting here. Somewhere near the end of February, right around that 160 day mark uh, is typically when the first jailbreak for the device of that year. And again, this is the main semi-untethered jailbreak that everyone's waiting for. Now, later that year, uh, we actually had a major break. Only 88 days later, on May 23rd of 2020, Uncover was updated once again to support iOS 13.5. So really, less than 90 days later, a second jailbreak utility was released last year. Now lastly, let's cover iOS 14. Again, that was released on September 16th. The newest version of iOS always comes out in September. This time, 164 days later, on February 27th of 2021, Uncover was released for iOS 14.3. Again, that's the one that supported this year's flagship device lineup being the iPhone 12. So as you guys know, a second jailbreak utility for another version aside from iOS 14.3 has yet to be released this year. But before we get into that, I just wanted to reemphasize one more time that right around that 160 day mark is typically when the first jailbreak for the latest flagship device comes out each year. I mean, in all things considered, it's anywhere between the 22nd and 27th of February each year is when we have seen the first jailbreak utility be released. I mean, we're talking about a four or five day window here between February 22nd and February 27th is when we have seen the last four major jailbreak utilities, the first jailbreak utilities each year out for the latest version of iOS, as well as the latest flagship devices, 
be released. And that is just really interesting. I'd never put this together in a graph before, but at least for next year, it's probably gonna be near the end of February when the iOS 15 jailbreak is out. Now, looping back to the next or second jailbreak utility of this year for iOS 14, if history repeats itself, uh, we're entering jailbreak season. You know, pretty much any time between May 23rd and August 18th of this year is when I'm estimating, based on the past three years of data, when we're gonna see this next jailbreak utility come out. Now, is it gonna be for iOS 14.4.2, iOS 14.5, or iOS 14.6? I'm not quite sure. Unfortunately, with how many things that were patched in iOS 14.5 this year, uh, my money for this second major jailbreak release of this year is going to be for iOS 14.4.2 and below. But really, it could be for iOS 14.5. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, history recap of the past four years of jailbreak utility releases. But there's a few more things I wanted to include in this video. iOS 15 is right around the corner from being released in beta stages. Monday, June 7th is the start of this year's WWDC. So it should be sometime that week, if not Monday, that we see uh, the first beta of iOS 15 be released shortly after their all digital event. So if you guys are interested in the latest updates on jailbreaks and iOS 15 beta, definitely subscribe at this point if you haven't already. A few other updates I wanted to talk about before ending this video. Of course, the check rain jailbreak uh, still supports the iPhone 6S all the way up to including the iPhone 10. Uh, I've confirmed it works on iOS 14.5.1 on the latest build. Uh, unfortunately, if you guys are on iOS 14.6, uh, as of recording this video, it does not support the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8. So again, don't update on day one if you guys use the check rain jailbreak. Now an update for the more advanced jailbreak user. If you guys save blob Siri devices, an awesome update to blob saver uh, just came out. It makes it incredibly easy to save blobs for not only the iPhone 10 and below, but it makes it especially easy for uh, these devices with nonce entanglement. Anything from the iPhone 10s, the iPhone 11, or the iPhone 12 series, uh, basically there's two clicks and you can save your blobs. Uh, it's a little bit more reliable if you do it if you're already jailbroken because you can set your generator. But this new version of Blob Saver actually came out with a version that you don't need to be jailbroken for. Um, so I'll have to look into a little bit more into that. Uh, definitely check it out. I'll link it below down in this video's description. And uh, again, another awesome thing that came out this year that's pretty new to the jailbreaking world is this 90 day delay configuration profile. I thought this was really interesting because this could definitely be used to update to the next version of iOS when a jailbreak comes out for it. So if you guys stay on a low version or stay on a jailbroken version like iOS 14.3, I mean, technically you don't have to be jailbroken. You just have to be on an older version of iOS to use this. But essentially with this configuration profile, it allows you to delay iOS updates for 90 days. Now you guys might've seen uh, something come out where you could install iOS 14.3 for like 18 days. This happened about a month ago. Uh, unfortunately, I just didn't have time to record a video for that when that happened. Um, but I did want to mention it and I will cover it the next uh, jailbreak release that we have because this could be an alternative way to update to the jailbreakable version even though it's no longer being signed by Apple. Now the two caveats here is one, again, you have to be on an older iOS version. There's no way to downgrade from a newer version to an older version with this method. And then secondly, um, it doesn't seem to yet work on the iPhone 12 series lineup. But uh, this graph right here kind of gives us an idea of when we'll be able to install uh, various iOS versions. So starting with iOS 14.3, it was released December 14th, okay? iOS 14.4 was released January 26th. Now, the reason why I mentioned this is 90 days after January 26th is the amount of time we had to install the previous iOS version being iOS 14.3. So that's how we landed with April 26th. Uh, you can install up to this date right here. 
in the third column. So again, the dates passed for April 26th to install iOS 14.3, but we have until June 8th then to upgrade to iOS 14.4. So as long as again, that you're on an older iOS version and you don't have the latest device, it's iPhone 11 or below. Now with iOS 14.4.1, we have until June 26th. 14.4.2, we have until July 25th. 14.5, we have until August 2nd to install or to update to these firmwares. And then I just didn't have time to update this graph, but for 14.5.1, we have 90 days from today to install that version of iOS. Now, again, you can't like pick or choose which one you wanna update to. There's just one configuration profile. So you'll have to wait uh, until the date passes. Like if you wanna update to iOS 14.5, you'll have to wait till after July 25th to update to that. Otherwise it's gonna put you on 14.4.2. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting little topic. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below of this. But that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys made it to the end of this video, give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much again for all the incredible support. I'll catch you guys real soon. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.